and I'm Dudley. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Hello. We don't. We're not going to talk a lot about new things today. I don't. No, know. I don't think so. I, think I don't think. I don't I think. think. This is the Ark show now. We we only play Ark now. Mm-hmm. Welcome to Dud and Dan the Ark show. <laughs> the Ark show. <laughs> all Ark all the time. All Ark. That's not a hundred percent true. I have played one other thing, but I wouldn't call it a game. <laughs> I I um. I just realized that I mic'd the back right. Oh no. I'm on the wrong side. You're on the wrong side. How does that make you feel? Not thrilled about it. Yeah. Do you do you wanna stop? Let's just let's just roll with it and see. Or how. do you wanna, you know, flip them real quick. Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. I'm on this side okay. and now I'm going moving, 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 <laughs> moving. You've already moved. And I'm on the other side. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be honest, it didn't sound any different to me. <laughs> because our, our hearing aids are mono. Are they? Yeah. I didn't notice. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Yeah. No, it, it, it's true. So, you, no matter what, all the audio coming through this, is it mono? I believe it's compressed down mono. I think. I don't think that's true. That can't be true. I don't know if it's broadcast in stereo. We'll have to do some experiments. I'm gonna have to look that. it up because I'm I'm curious now because I thought you know I was getting the the uh, surround sound <laughs> stereo thing in my ears. I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Huh? Interesting. Um. So we played Ark. We played Ark. Yes, I played uh, a lot of Ark. I did too. I played like um at least some... an hour or so a day mm-hmm. for the most. Most of the week, and then I spent at least half the yesterday or Saturday mm. playing art. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a lot of fun. Uh-huh. I built a boat. You're not coming through very cloudy. I I well okay. I'm just uh, I'm looking probably at because um, you're usually louder. Yeah. And I turn you down. And oh, so I'm my, on your side. You're now. on my track now. Uh, um, so that's probably why. Yeah, uh, I feel like we've screwed up. And we need to uh, just just do a quick swap. <laughs> just do a quick swap. Do a, do a quick swap. I yeah, switch just switch us back. We're going back. I'm going back to my side. Okay. And, and we're back. And we're back. There, there we go. go. Yeah. <laughs> Is that better? Um, do you feel better? Yes. Do you feel at home in your uh, whatever side you're on? The left side. Your left side. Um yeah, that makes you more comfortable. If you're more comfortable, I'm more comfortable. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now anyway. the levels are, are right. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. I'll, I'll keep an eye out. That's mm-hmm. like my priority. I do all the most of the work here. Yeah. I run this. I I. Edit. Well, the only reason I ask is I see when I talk, I see my blinking light. I see the. Yeah. Don't 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 listen to these. But when you talk, nothing happens. Um. Don't look at these. Well, I know that's not accurate, but yeah. still, there's a blip. Yeah, you don't I, get I a blip. I understand that. No blip for I'm you. I'm looking at what's being recorded. Okay. And we're fine. Okay. We're I'm going to trust you. Too much time on the show. I've paid no attention to this at all. Until this moment. Until this moment. Yeah. I just assumed you knew what you were doing for the I last do know four what I'm years. Doing. I just, for some and reason, then you flipped them backwards. Plugged them backwards, and the next thing I know, mm-hmm. I question everything you've ever done. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Um, Ark. I built a boat. Yeah, which is not bad. Mm-hmm. It's, it's kind of a warehousey boat. Got yeah. a lot of space. The well, it's got per- two upper stories. Well, well, let's looking. tell this properly. Hmm. You had a raft. I did. And then Ham joined the game this week. I had only just made the raft. And you had only just made the raft. Ham had joined. Uh, he had started playing, and he built. No, this I had a boat already built. You, yeah, I'm saying you had just a plain boat. No, it, yeah, but it had a. It was all built out. I had a plan for it, but I only had like the foundation of it built. Maybe a couple of walls. Okay, let me tell you from my perspective. No, I had like a whole floor. This is where you be quiet. And uh, walls all the way around, <laughs> and mo- half the roof was put in. No. Yeah, because I came back and realized I needed to be able to see where I was going, and I didn't build it that way. Yeah, but you I'm saying Ham had built this thing first and then you were going, Oh, I could make this better. 
<laughs> no, you were just gonna be like a platform, and that was it. Well, because that doesn't work because you need to be able to see kind of in front of you. That's mm-hmm. what I realized. I made a big platform. Yeah, you did make a big uh, a walled off area, and yeah. you can't see. I couldn't see, and I was like, oh, because I'd never really driven a boat, and I was mm-hmm. like, oh, yeah, I need to be able to see, so. Mm-hmm. I modified it, but I really didn't change the foundation at all. The foundation stayed the same. And then I just, I was planning to build upward, but I just built upward with a hole down the middle mm-hmm. so I can see. Yeah. It's really the only thing that changed. And I yeah. changed, took some of the roof back. Well, anyway, Ham started building a ro- boat. Yeah. And he built this monster of a boat. Yeah. <laughs> like he hit the, uh, the default uh, structure limit yeah. on the raft. Yeah. And was only half done. Yeah. And uh, Tristan upped it on our server, yeah. so he made it four times bigger. Mm-hmm. And Ham proceeded to uh, build onto that. Yeah. And he has a, a really... It's a massive boat. <laughs> it's a really nice like, boat. Like a three-story... <laughs> Th- like, four if you count the roof. Th- yeah, it's like floor, floor, <laughs> attic, well, it, roof. It, it's got an entryway now. So he, he yeah. built an entryway with a... Like a it's like its own pier. Yeah. Like the boat has its own pier. So it can just pull up to the... To a bank. To yeah. a bank. And it's got a pier. Yeah. And so it's got that where the animals come in. Yeah. And then an entryway... Which, by the way, how many animals does Ham have? Uh, none. Ham has no animals. <laughs> but he's prepared. He's ready for animals. And he's using uh, our animals as a... Uh, as as test. Uh, tester. Like he keeps going, hey, bring your uh, T-Rex over. So I can see how it fits, and I was like, "Sure." And I brought I brought Dick over and see if he fit. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> and he did. Yeah. A little snug. Yeah. But he fit. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, so he's got an entryway and then a ramp that goes up to kind of a, a rail railed off area around yeah. the entryway, and then there's another floor above that with a catwalk yeah. and and all kind of stuff, and then uh, and then there's a roof. That has like a, a a railing area for like a bird to land. Yeah. It's very nice. It is very nice. I I helped him build it. Oh really? I gave him a ton of wood. Yeah. By you, either well first using my chainsaw to mm-hmm. cut a bunch of wood for him, mm-hmm. and then I just let him borrow it and yeah. he mowed down a bunch of trees to yeah. build the thing. I built my boat and then I was like, this is fine. I didn't go crazy with it. Yeah. I just needed a room. I had a bed on it and I was gonna add a few more things on mm-hmm. it, but I haven't. I haven't gone boat crazy. I just like I just want something ready. So when I start going mm-hmm. exploring, and then I was thinking, my setting my sights on the Quetzal. I think it's called. It's yes. a big bird. It's a big that bird. You can build a platform. Yeah, on. it's a Quetzal. Uh, yeah, and so I kind of was planning ahead toward the my future of getting one. So I built this boat so I could travel around the church for it. I've seen them. Yeah, I have too. I've seen a tech one. A tech one. Dang, mm-hmm. that'd be cool. If it wasn't so difficult to tame them, I would have been yeah. attempted to go on after. Well, but. yeah, because they don't ever land. Yeah. So you have to, like, get them down somehow. Mm-hmm. And um, so my plan was I built a ballista. Yeah. A ginormous ballista. Because at first I thought, oh, it'll look really badass on the side of my boat. And it does. And it does. <laughs> I kind of was like, man, I need to put one on the other side. So you I can't man two. both of them. I can't. But if we went as a group, as a team, mm-hmm. someone could drive the boat and two people could man mm-hmm. ballistas and we could take down anything. Which uh, would be really handy if we were on a server with other players yes. that weren't in our yeah, tribe. If we weren't on a private server, it would be super, super cool. Yeah. Um, but... I also, you can, one of the things you can build for the ballista other than giant bolts is uh, these chain bolas, like really big mm-hmm. chain bolas, so, yeah. which you can use to bring the Quetzal down. Uh-huh. So that's my thinking is I, yeah. I want to build some more of those and build some stuff out so that I can go search for it and bring it down and then try to tame it. Yeah. So I can build my, what I want to have is a, because I've been, I've been, uh, love the flying around on birds. I want to mm-hmm. have a flying bird base. Yeah. Uh, so that would be cool. Um, and then... I, I don't think I will get the, the quest or whatever, cause unless I just get to the point where I think I need it. But I'm very happy with my, uh... Yeah. Uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, Abba Travis? Ar- Ar- oh, the... Ar- the bird. Argatavis? Argatavis. Yeah. Uh, mine called Abby. Yeah, mine um, called Agatha. Yeah. We've talked about Agatha. Yeah. And, uh, I'm pretty content with her, because yeah. she can carry so much shit. Yeah. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Mine, uh, I use mine constantly to hauling stuff. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, and so that's what I use. To, I use her to explore and look mm-hmm. up blind stuff and gather resources. Uh, and then 
I while I was flying around exploring, mm-hmm. I was flying in this area, and there were like a group of raptors yeah. chasing after me. Two of them were tech raptors, mm-hmm. and one of them was a regular one, and they were kind of following me from the ground. And I was like, oh, why? Well, I, I kind of want the tech raptors, mm-hmm. but they're dangerous. Yeah. So, I. They're not too bad to take down, but they are dangerous. Yeah. Um. So I I flew low, and ha- while I was flying, I built two bolas, mm-hmm. and then I flew them and got led them off a cliff so that I could separate them, get them further out in the open, because they were in the tree area. Mm-hmm. There was no easy place for me to land and try to get off the bola them. Yeah. So I kind of led them up down. You can't the bola side. from the bird. No, you can't. Uh, but I led them off the, the, the mountain and then it's a no bola a bird. got on a rock and they came up to side rock and I bola both of the tech rex raptors yeah. and spent all night feeding them mm-hmm. and tamed both of them. It so took I all have, night? Not all night. I didn't tell you. Night. The one raptor I had, may he rest in peace, didn't yeah. take long to tame. Well, one was low level and the other one was pretty high. Oh, okay. It took a little longer. Uh, it was like 100 and something. Mm-hmm. 130. Um, and so now I have Roy and Ray. Uh, they're they're ma- a mating ma- pair. Mating pair, mm-hmm. actually. They were already mating before I got them. In fact, one of them dropped an egg. Ray mm-hmm. dropped an egg. Yeah. And so uh, it's R-A-E, Ray, mm-hmm. not R-A-Y, just F-Y-I. Uh, well, you know, it could be either way, Daniel. Well, that's how I spelled it. Oh, sorry. Um, so, I, in fact, Ray dropped an egg, so I have an egg, so I could start breeding mm-hmm. raptors if i tech raptors yeah. if i wanted uh but that's a lot of work uh, yeah i'm speaking of breeding i have an egg for one of those exclusive animals for the this map uh-huh. i can't remember what they're called it's, yeah. it's some kind of uh they're clingy birds they they're like, like raptors with like feathery tails that they can grab and they can grab on hold of things and uh, so I have one, and I've been slowly incubating it yeah. in the uh, fire pit that mm-hmm. Tristan had made in uh, yeah. my house. Yeah, because he was in, he had one. He, mm-hmm. he made one. His is done. His yeah. is fully grown. Around, yeah. Um, um, but I and so I was kind of just like mostly just didn't know. I got the tech crafters, let brought them home. And they just hang out on my boat. I'll, yeah. When I walk around on foot, I'll take them with me to like protect me, mm-hmm. and they're really cool. And they're quick and they're fun to ride. But I was like, I kind of just fiddled around for a while not knowing what to do. I helped mm-hmm. Ham a lot. Yeah. I was helping him get resources and get stuff so he could get his stuff built. And yeah, I was just doing, doing that a little bit when he I, first got on. Yeah, and I did a bunch of that. And then I was just like, I don't know what I want to do. And then I was looking at other animals to tame. Mm-hmm. And I was like, huh, wait a second. I remember seeing these like upright gorilla things. Mm-hmm. I'm like, hmm. They're Sasquatches. Yeah, they're, they're they're Sasquatches. And I was like, huh, I, I, you can tame those. And I was reading up about how to do that. And I'm like, oh, you just like get them trapped and you feed them, basically. Yeah. I was like, I wonder if I can. I was like, I don't think so, but I'm curious. Can you? Can I use my uh, use Ab- Agatha to pick up one? Mm, yeah, because they can they're grab them. They're called a a giga giganta. Pithocus is a Sasquatch. Yeah, Sasquatch. <laughs> everything has weird names yeah. in this. Yeah, and it's hard to remember. Well, a lot of our scientific names. Sure. Uh, <laughs> but uh, and so I was like, I'm. I remember seeing one over on this cliff. I'm gonna go see if I can pick it up with her. Mm-hmm. Like fully not expecting to be able to. Yeah. So I fly over and pick up this monkey. Just swoop in and mm-hmm. whoop, yeah, you just grabbed up. him. I just grabbed him and he was like, oh, and every once in a while he hit. Agatha, but Agatha has so much health yeah. that it really doesn't doesn't even, doesn't even register on the on the HUD that she's mm-hmm. taking damage. Yeah, and it, even then, it, the, I was like, "Oh crap! I have this thing now." Yeah, you didn't make a trap. <laughs> no, I didn't. So I'm flying back and I I'm, I'm hollering at Ham. I said, "Ham, I need you to build something for me really quickly." He's like, "What?" And he was like, "I need you to put a foundation out and put a wall around it, and just one by one." Like, uh, and he just built it in the middle of our island. Yeah. And I come in and I drop this monkey in that box. Mm-hmm. So I had the monkey in the box. And then I realized, oh, they can break wooden walls. Mm-hmm. So I I got, got while it was just hanging out in the box, I gathered stone and built it. And then it kept getting angry mm-hmm. and started breaking parts of the stuff. That, and so I tried to build a platform, try to kind of shelter it so it couldn't see anything. So maybe it would stop aggroing. Mm-hmm. And... It just kept getting angry. Mm-hmm. It was just, just a, an angry monkey in yeah. a box. And uh, 
I could not get them to, to stop. Mm-hmm. So finally, I was like, I think I should not have put it right in the middle of base. Probably. Because we were all too close to get for it to calm down, basically. Mm-hmm. So I ended up putting it out of its misery, tearing down the, the box, and I went what? over to our little side island uh-huh. and built another box. So, I wait, I didn't, you killed that one? Yes. Oh. I thought you moved it. How was I going to move it? Pick you it up again? Pick it up again. I, I need the resources to move the box. You could build another box. No, I just want to. Boxes are not that expensive. I had to go make get a lot of stone to make those. I didn't uh, have it enough on me. Um, so I anyway, had a lot of stone. I could have lent you some. That one's gone. <laughs> so you just murdered I, I the made, monkey. Yeah. Uh, I made another box, and I flew in and found another one. Mm-hmm. Brought it in, dropped it in the box. Mm-hmm. And proceeded. To, that one was fine. Every time it got angry, sometimes I fell in the box with it, and it would yeah. hit me, and i go flying out of the box. Uh-huh. And it would be angry, so i go back over to my base, just do some other stuff, come back, and they'd calm down, and i start feeding them again. Mm-hmm. So I'm standing there feeding them berries. Mm-hmm. And so I got my first uh, male monkey mm-hmm. named Mojo. Mm-hmm. And he's awesome. Yeah. He's so great. You can ride on it. You know, mount is required. You can just You mean ride. no saddle. No saddle. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to have a saddle. You can just ride on their shoulders. Mm-hmm. And here's the funniest thing is they can throw you. Yeah, I've watched you, him do it. It's like they just reach behind your head, grab you, and toss you. Yeah. Like 30, 40 feet. And I'm like, holy shit. And uh, I just go flying. Mm-hmm. But they can also run and jump pretty well. Yeah. They and apparently really good for climbing up mountains and stuff. Hmm. They walk up steep paths really well. Yeah. So I was like, this guy's pretty cool. It wasn't hard to get him. <laughs> so I went and got another one. Uh-huh. I got a, a female one. Uh-huh. And I, I, it took, she was much higher level. Mm-hmm. Like, Mojo's, like, was started level 20. Mm-hmm. Super low. Yeah. Mango <laughs> is what I named her. Uh, it started at, like, 135. Uh-huh. And took a little longer. But I tamed her. So yeah. now I have a a matching pair. Mm-hmm. So uh, you just like get couples of all your animals. Is that yeah, what you're doing now? Yeah, that's what I maybe want to. But I kind of want. But they kind of. I have them parked outside of my house as like bouncers. Uh huh. Like, big brutey. Mm-hmm. In fact, I'm I went up and looked at one right in the face, and I was like, "That's kind of terrifying." It's terrifying. You uh-huh. got, I got these two giant gorillas just standing outside of my house, mm-hmm. just being intimidated. So mm-hmm. I am like, I'm up to what. Five, six animals now. Uh, I could count one, two, three, four, five on the top of my five. head. I think it's five. Because you have two raptors, two, two monkeys, two monkeys, and a bird. And a bird. I had some other ones. Mm-hmm. They're Tricky. Gone. Tricky's gone. Tricky's gone. Uh, Terry's uh, gone. Terry is yeah. Terry's gone. Uh-huh. Uh huh. May they rest in peace. Mm-hmm. Um. And. Yeah, so now I have these two monkeys. Mm-hmm. And all I can think of is, like, I got this angry monkey box. Yeah. Where I can just pick up monkeys, put them in there, and tame them. Mm-hmm. It doesn't take that long. Yeah. So now I'm thinking about just making a monkey army. Yeah. Like a little monkey posse. Just yeah, and they just run around my, and beat my up my monkey, things. My monkey bouncers to go around with me and just anything mess with me, they beat them up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't imagine you'd need more than three. Like three high-level ones. Yeah. I don't know. I will see. I'll, I'm gonna. I may get one more. See how I feel. Mm-hmm. And then if I decide that maybe I need four, maybe five. Yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. We'll see. But they they move pretty quick. They jump mm. pretty well. Apparently they're pretty good for going in caves mm. because they're quick. They can jump. They can go out, climb up things fairly easily. Go up mm-hmm. steep things, Terry. So they're pretty good. And they can hit things and knock things back pretty good. Yeah. They send things flying. They're good at protecting you. Yeah. When you you hit stuff, they go stuff gets fly, goes flying. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I'm I'm digging my monkeys. Yeah. <laughs> so they look pretty pretty badass. They yeah. Look, I was gonna put them in my house because I thought oh, it would be funny if someone comes in my house. There's these two hawking gorillas yeah. just standing there. Uh. And then I realized they couldn't fit through the door. Yeah, too tall. I have a double door, but it's not. They're they're too tall. You to gotta fit. have a dino door. I need a dino door, I guess, to, in my mm-hmm. house. I have a, a doorway if you need it. One. Oh it. yeah. Mm-hmm. And a, a fencing so you could attach it to your house properly. Okay. Mm-hmm. Are you talking about the giant one? <laughs> not the giant one. That's okay. the behemoth. Oh. Okay. There's the dino door, and then there's the behemoth. Oh, okay. The dino door is more reasonable. <laughs> yeah, but the dino isn't it like two stories high or something. Yeah. And it's like my house is two stories. Yeah, it'd just be one opening. 
Wait, by t- like, is it two levels high? I or, think so. Okay, then my, that's one. My, my first floor, I go two walls high. It might be three. Floor. If it's three, then I'm going to have to make my house taller. Yeah, I think it's three. And then that's a problem. That two doesn't seem right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it, yeah. um, <clears throat> you talked about goals, and I was, I'm, I kind of, that's what I've been doing in the game, I pick, like, one big thing, and I'm yeah. like, I'm gonna get, give it, go until I get to that, yeah, and so, because right, I want the Quetzal, I want to have a big flying base. Yeah, so and I started, after seeing everyone else's, uh, boats, mm. I decided I wanted to upgrade mine. Yeah, um, you, you were feeling boat envy? A little bit, but uh, I decided to go a different direction than size and went for uh, stop, not style, uh, material. Innovation. Innovation. That's yeah. a good word. Uh, so I made my boat out of glass. <laughs> <laughs> All the walls are made of glass. Mm-hmm. And I put metal floors, and uh, I, I added a second floor, which is mostly just a balcony area right now because it's actually not hard, e- that easy to see through the glass. So I've uh I've uh been uh I I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue building upward because uh, I may I found out it's kind of difficult to see and then I have a little front platform it's my metal pier yeah. but I figured out how to extend it out as far as I can yeah and I because I ran into an issue where I was like oh I can just walk my T Rex up on there yeah um which is great and if you walk directly in though it's it's T Rex can't turn very fast. They have a really wide turning radius, yeah. so it's hard they don't to turn have a around. Turning radius. They can back up, I found out, but yeah. it's real slow. Yeah. So I made it where it, you come up one side and go down the other, oh, okay. so you can get in end. and out. Uh, and it works pretty good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I have a room for my for my saber tooth and for Abby mm-hmm. and uh, all as well. Uh, but I needed a lot of resources to to do the glass. Yeah. Uh, and so I'm doing that. I was mining a lot of glass and or crystals and metal and all kinds of stuff. But I was like, there's an upgraded boat. Mm-hmm. There's the motor boat. Yeah. Um, and I was like, I want to get that. Yeah. Uh, I already have it. Un- I already have the level to unlock it. I just yeah. need. Uh, well, I, at yeah. the time I was like, I just gotta level up so I can uh, get the Ingram points for it because yeah. I've run out of Ingram points. And. Uh, then I can unlock it, and then I can build. So I pulled up the house. But until then, I will build, gather the resources. Yeah. So I spent a lot of time gathering 1,500 metal ores, mm-hmm. a ton of uh, obsidian, and and a bunch of stuff. But the problem is uh, I need black pearls. Yeah. Which and I don't understand. I don't either. I think it's I think it's just one of those things to make it difficult, because yeah. <laughs> everything else I can get. Yeah. Uh, the polymer, all that. I, in fact, I can use organic polymer, which is pretty easy to get. Uh, discovered silicon is really easy to find. Yeah. Um. So I, all these things, I'm like, I can do all of this, but I need uh black pearls. So I was looking, researching, how do you get black pearls? Yeah. Well, I found. Online was like the quickest, e- the easy way to do it is to go to this coordinate, go down this trench in the water, yeah, and uh, grab it and come right back out. And I'm like, great. I go down, I get into the entryway, I start suffocating, I come back out. I can't dive far enough. You need to upgrade your lo- oxygen level. Well, that requires leveling up. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm really high level, and that takes a long time. Yeah. So I started out. I was I was gonna do I I was gonna do the motorboat plan. I was like, well, I, no no black pearls. Yeah. So now um I was like, well, how do I go deeper in the water? I need scuba gear. Uh huh. Which is uh I'm currently level seventy six. Mm-hmm. Scuba gear is level eighty one. Yeah. <laughs> so I need five levels <laughs> to unlock scuba. Okay. And while you're doing that, you could upgrade your oxygen. Yeah. But I won't need to upgrade my oxygen once I get to that level. Okay. Because it'll the scuba tank has like twenty times your oxygen. Oh, okay. Um. So. So, <laughs> I can't get I I I kind of abandoned the boat for the for a while, and I started using all other materials for other things. But um, I so I'm I'm 
Right now, basically, I've gotten back to grinding level. Yeah. <laughs> I'm building a lot of random crap I don't need. Yeah. Just to just to to get them. I built like 35 pillars, <laughs> wooden pillars, just because they give you a, a de- decent amount of. Are you uh, doing anything with them? No, I put them in a box. Eventually, I think I'll I'll expand my bridge with it, but until then, I don't really want to mess with it. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I made a lot of those because it doesn't take a lot of resources and it, it's quick to make. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was doing that for a little bit and, and I still have a long way to go. I'm halfway to 77. Yeah. Um, but anyway, while I was looking for uh, resources, I needed I realized I needed a lot of obsidian to make uh, mm. polymer. So I was trying to find a, a good source of obsidian because mm. I found some, but not a lot. Yeah. While I was flying through the uh, Redwood Forest, yeah. and I was on the bird, and I was flying, and I was like, I read online, there was in this one place, so I was like looking for it. I pulled up the map. I'm like tree level, yeah, lay up there, nothing can hide. So I pulled up the map, and when I had the map open, something grabs me. Yeah. Next thing I know, I'm falling to the ground, and there's a thing in front of me going, and I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? And then I hit the ground, and this thing's still mauling me. Uh-huh. And I'm like trying to get to my inf- go open, <laughs> switch to my gun, uh-huh. and then I, I just unload a full clip of my assault rifle into it and kill it. And you didn't see what it was? I went and found it later. I didn't know what it was at the time because I was so freaked out because yeah. I didn't know something could grab me from the air yeah. like that. And uh, I ran, and there was a. A castle, and I just have to yeah. be up over. I ran inside of it, yeah. and while I was running in, a Carnotaurus was chasing me. Yeah. So I hid, leveled up, and then I killed the Carnotaurus, <laughs> and then I was like, okay. At that point, I was like, okay, calm down. Okay, where is my bird? <laughs> <laughs> I go find it. He's r- st- above the castle, but even when I'm directly under him, her, her, uh, I can't. I'm not close enough to whistle to get her yeah. to come close to me, come back to me. So I was like, crap. And then, so I'm like, okay, I got to get find a way up. So I'm looking at the castle, trying to figure out if there's a way to climb up into it. In this section I'm in, there isn't, <laughs> as far as I can tell. And so I was like, crap. So I was like, what am I going to do? I'm in the, I'm like way away from home. What, I mean, no one else was playing. So I was like, shit. So I, <laughs> I was like, okay. I still. Went outside, found the tree, hacked it up, built a thatch wall and ladders. Yeah. I just built a bunch of thatch walls and ladders and just built a wall straight up and a ladder straight up until I was high enough to whistle to get him to grab it. And then I was like, I don't need obsidian. I'm just going to go. <laughs> <laughs> but I went and looked it up because it took me a little while to figure I it out. Say, what is it? It's a uh, thylacoleo. Th- 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 Thylacoleo. And it's basically a panther like thing. It's like oh. a cougar panther. And they spawn on the tree. Really? They spawn on the tree, gripping the tree. Mm-hmm. And they wait until something comes along and it'll leap off and attack it. I'm looking it up. Cause... Yeah. Uh, thy, thy. I've seen thyla- those. I've yeah. seen them. I didn't yeah. know they climbed trees. They spawn on them. <laughs> they yeah. start on trees. Yeah, I saw one walking <laughs> around in that area, like not far from our home base. Yeah, they're 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 very predatory. <clears throat> yeah, I've um, seen those. I didn't think anything about it. They're um they're scary. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, I abandoned my pursuit of obsidian. I ended up finding obsidian in another much more uh, safer, easier, the uh-huh. accessible place. I'm sorry. I'm, I, my the weather has changed, and my allergies are all. <clears throat> yeah. It's Welcome gotten cooler, call. thankfully, but yeah. it's messed my uh, allergies up. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's been a, uh, it's been crazy. Mm-hmm. Um. But I, I took uh took Richard out for a while. He's like level twenty one twenty three or something. And I got my new boat and I was like, I'm gonna go. There's a Alpha Carnotaurus that's been over on, on this other section of a beach across from our island. And I was like, I want to go. I've been trying to kill him for a while. I want to go test Richard out and hope I don't kill him. Uh-huh. And so I went over there. I, I shot a bunch of bullets at him first uh-huh. just to make sure. As you do. 
it was safe, but then I ran out of bullets, so I was like, okay, let's just go for it. So I took Richard out, and he killed him without a scratch. He was a little hurt, but nothing. Yeah. He he was fine. Yeah. I, he, I just sat there and ate him for, like, you know, a long time. Mm. So now I have a Alpha Carnotaurus arm. Oh, nice. As a trophy. Nice. <laughs> Which is weird. Yeah. <laughs> but I have it. Yeah. You're going to go p- find some obsidian to make an, a pillar to show off your trophy? I could, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a pillar, make it in maybe in the top story of my house. Yeah, or your yeah. boat. My boat. You know, yeah, take, I've, take your trophy I've, uh, I don't even use my house bridge anymore. Yeah. I, I, I finally moved my um, uh, uh, fabricator, which was the only thing I still had over there. Oh yeah. I moved it onto my boat and moved everything. I have a generator. I have a uh, two lamps, so I just. The whole thing lights up mm-hmm. real bright. It's pretty nice because it just shines yeah. in a bit of darkness. It's yeah. pretty, and, pretty cool. Uh, I, 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 I got a whole bunch of oil from an oil rig you set up, and yeah. I have a ton of gas. Oh, yeah, that's right. I went and found a, a spot. It took me forever to find it because yeah. I didn't know what it looked like. Yeah. It just looked like a rock. Mm-hmm. But I finally found the oil vein was able to place an oil rig yeah. and pump oil out, and I mm-hmm. just left it right Yeah, I went and got, like, four stacks from it. Yeah. And it just made a ton of, uh, yeah. it's just hiding oil and you yeah. cook it and it makes gas. Mm-hmm. And uh, I have a ton of gas now. Just, you know, and I got a refrigerator, which I started putting actual, like, prime meat in yeah. for so I can save it to tame things. Mm-hmm. And I got my eggs in there. It's fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really chugging now. But I'm still, I, I'm still going to try to. Then my my goal is to grind up to level eighty one so I can get scuba gear. So you can go get some. Black so I can pearl. get some black pearls to so make a make, ma- make a motorboat. You make a motorboat. Mm-hmm. Motorized mm-hmm. boat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and that, what if it's I, not much better? It should be. Why? It's so many resources. Surely it is. I I assume it's faster. It must it, be right. It has to be right. It has to um. Be. I mean, and I know it runs on gas, so it's yeah. a little different than. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I built know. a windmill. Yeah. Uh, a wind turbine just yeah. because I found a blueprint. And yeah. I was like, well, that's cool. But it's so big and it, it's awkward to put on my boat. So hey, I, I haven't I put it anywhere. I think you should build little side ramps and put them on the side. When I get the motorboat going. Yeah. And then you can just wrap that power everything. Yeah. I just use it to power everything and then just uh, uh, use the, the gas to on the boat. Yeah. Uh, but... Uh, there are plans. Uh-huh. Plans in the works. Yeah, I would like to get to the point of having electrical lights and stuff. Mm. And everything yeah. Would be good, That's where I spend all my ingrams on. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone else has like got hundreds of ingram points, and I'm just like, yeah, I've run out. <laughs> I ran out because I wanted a, you know, air conditioner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, I'm not even using right yeah. now because it, it, I, I don't really understand how it works. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh um, so I need to, I don't know. I don't know how it works, but mm-hmm. everything else it is. It cools the air, Nelly. It, it, well, yeah, yeah, but also warms it, too. It'll warm and cool, and I don't I don't know how you control it. Heating and it has an inventory heat. slot, and I, I just don't know how to, what to do with it. Yeah. Uh, and the, the wiki doesn't really say anything other than it insulates a certain area. And I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> does it keep it the same temperature, or does it? How does, does it, it keep you like a regular temperature so that you can? Uh, yeah, I guess. I don't know, because you go into some areas, you get cold and you get hot. Yeah, and I don't know if you can like, get but it I've to also a certain read point. Of people using it to incubate eggs. So I don't have yeah, that. they do, and I thought, oh, I get one. I can set the room temperature and then incubate an egg, and then no, I was reading online, people were having to use like five. AC units to to incubate an egg, and I'm like, I don't understand how this works. Yeah. I still don't understand how it works. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it's it's uh it's fun. It's uh I, I put a lot of time in, into mm-hmm. it. Um. So we'll we'll. I want to play more. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I, I have I want to grind and. and I level. I kind of got the itch because I was capturing monkeys. Mm-hmm. To set up a zoo mm-hmm. a jurassic park mm-hmm. if you will because mm-hmm. i was just like man it wouldn't you be hard you should do it on that small island yeah it's like set up the small island and then set up like rooms like build walls 
Yeah. Like stone walls or something strong that whatever key is going in can't break it. Because a lot of things can't break the stone wall. Yeah. And then use Agatha to pick the smaller stuff to pick them up and prop them in there. Mm-hmm. And then, like, try to make it look a little naturey, but then have glass walls so yeah. you can walk through it and see these animals. Because I built a building around the Angry Monkey Box. Because... Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, if I can get it where it can't see everyone and we lose line of sight, maybe it'll calm down. But no, it just kept bashing into the side. So I was like, I don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. I was like, I got this little building in the middle of our island where something is just bashing mm-hmm. into the wall all the time. Which I thought was funny because several people weren't on the servers. And I thought it'd be funny if they came in and I'm like, oh, hey, what's in the building? And they walk in and there's a gorilla just trying to destroy <laughs> it. Well, uh, it- if you decide to build a zoo, yeah, I will ha- gladly help you do it. Yeah, because uh, building stuff is a really good way to <laughs> yeah. level up. Yeah, and uh, I need some levels. So I, I think I want. I think I kind of want to do it now. Some things are hard. Not everything can be picked up. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Well, how you, you you gotta build a part of it into the water. Oh, so we have an so aquarium. You can, uh, yeah, you can have an aquarium. And then you can have a part that goes down into the water, and you can submerge and see into the water and have, like, a glass. And then you can see the uh, dolphins mm. or whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. Or we'll sharks. We'll see. We'll just start small. Yeah, with a monkey zoo first. Yeah, we usually have monkeys. Anything monkey size or smaller, not a problem. <laughs> not I can pro- pick them up. Uh-huh. Uh, I wouldn't say monkey with this. I, it it really does just look like a satchwatch. Like yeah, a, as a big, monkeys big are gorilla. Monkeys are funny. That stands upright. But, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, monkey implies a little, little no, chimpanzee no, no. It's, running it's, around. It's more like a gorilla that stands up straight. Mm-hmm. It's a satchwatch. It's a satchwatch. It's, uh, it's Bigfoot. Yeah. It's like the... the Apparently the, there's the, a Yeti var- variant <gasps> in the snow areas. So maybe we go go oh, find. I it. want one of those. You go find I a, want the Yeti. Yeah, we'll go find a Yeti. We'll drop ah. it in the. We'll drop the Yeti in the angry monkey box, mm. and uh, yeah. it let it let yeah. it feed feed it. Yeah. But I yeah, I'm thinking like any small stuff. I just drop them in there. The only trick is gonna be, you know, them not starving. Yeah, I, I don't know so how that works. Work. So are you kind not? You're not gonna tame them. I don't want to tame them. I yeah. want them to be wild. Taming them makes it easier. Well, can... if you don't tame them, they're not going to starve. Oh, okay. Because I assumed... I like, don't know. I assume all the wild animals aren't just out there starving and without I don't know. feeding. I assume uh, you don't have to keep them alive. We could I, do an experiment and find out. Yeah. <laughs> Put a wild monkey in a cage and see if he dies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I want to build little like stone walls or steel, whatever walls are strong enough to keep them in. Mm-hmm. And then... Uh, Glass front so to the front of them so they mm-hmm. can you can see you can walk through and be like, I want to have like Dan's menagerie of well I have animal. the uh, Ingram for glass I do too oh it's good I have that stuff um and so and I know where to get the stuff to make it mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. yeah it's, it's all crystal metal it's all, all crystal and metal and I think cement paste yeah cement paste and I have a bunch of that and I can mm-hmm. get more mm-hmm. yeah so uh, I'm not too worried about it but I'm I do I am thinking about building this mm-hmm. ridiculous zoo and flying in animal. Now, we may have to come up with ways to bowl up things or, but, mm-hmm. uh, and then move. I don't know. It's going to be tricky, moving things without tanks. Oh, I'm not going to help you with the animals. You know, you're not going to help me no. with the animals? I'll help you build the structure because that gives me grinding. Well, see, here's ne- the capturing do. animals does nothing for my level. Here's what I need, though. What I might need from you mm. is, like, your metal boat. No. Because <laughs> if we can piss them off mm-hmm. and then get them on the boat and then train them or not bowl of them or something, then we're on the boat. We can transport them over. We'll have a dock and we can lead them in. We have to build another boat because the mine boat is not set up for animal yeah, capture. So we need to, we need to build a, set up a boat mm-hmm. for animal capture and transport. So basically we go aggro them. They chase after us mm-hmm. or run from us, whichever. Uh, I have seen a design for boats that were traps for animals. Yeah, because then we could set up a ramp. Traps. Yeah, it's a ramp, and then there's a hole, and you r- get them to run up it, and then they fall in the hole, exactly. and then they're trapped. So, like, build traps, and then they're in the boat, and then we can move them to the island, mm-hmm. and then we can work on getting them out. Okay. Yeah, I think it would be cool. I might be down for building another boat. Yeah, that would give me some levels. Probably it'll give you a lot of levels. It's a good project. Uh, so yeah. some. We're going to think about. Mm-hmm. 
We're gonna have a. I'm gonna have a. We'll start small. We'll do the. Uh, the first wing will be things that Agatha can pick up and I can mm-hmm. drop in. Okay. And then uh, I'll make just, little. Just cells. FYI, once I get that level 81, I'm not gonna help you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Until I need more levels to get something new. Mm-hmm. Uh. I'm just saying, this is a, a project you you and I could build together. Mm-hmm. And. I mean, I will be the director of the of the zoo. Mm-hmm. I will be. In I don't care. I, will design. I do not care about the zoo. We'll lay out. I'll do a floor I just layout. Want, I'm just trying to get levels. Uh, we'll light it up. Yeah. You tell me what you mater- what you need. I will build them. Yeah. And I will place them. You just uh, uh-huh. whatever. Okay. I don't. I don't. I don't okay. care. <laughs> yeah. I just want. I mean, yes, I could get Tristan to spawn stuff in. But I don't want to do it that way. I just want to do it the hard way. Tristan doesn't spawn stuff he in. He doesn't. Yeah, he does say, not. He can. He mentioned but he that, but we never had him do it. So. Yeah. He 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 said he he's gone in and gone God mode just to fly around and check on like the settings, mm-hmm. like he adjusts the spawn rates and stuff. And, yeah. Because uh, if I was gonna have him spawn something in, it would just be some black pearls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and get like. 60 black pearl or 90 black pearls, whatever it is. Uh-huh. Thank you. And now I have my boat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you need to go tame an animal that'll get black pearls. Um, I don't know. Well, okay. You can do that. But again, you have to still lead them to where they are. Oh, yeah, which yeah. I can't do. Yeah. I think. I don't know. You can tell them to wander over there. Maybe, Maybe. Go in. I don't know. I was trying to tame a uh, the dolphin. Yeah. And because they're good, they're a good water uh, mount and stuff. Oh, okay. And that's what I was trying to do was How'd like hope. Go? Uh, it was going well. I got them two third because he's passive. You can't trank them. So, mm-hmm. But they're really also very nice, and they'll come right up to you. Oh, you <laughs> you can't trank them. No. Oh, it's non-violent training. Non-violent. So yeah. you have to feed them like you were doing with the monkey. Mm-hmm. Um, the uh. I but I have I had like a bunch of prime meat so I was like oh it'll take like three of these and I could tame them yeah so I was I got one of them and I fed it but the problem is he kept go swimming far away and I kept I got him two fed him two and then the third one I couldn't get close enough to get him to eat the last yeah. bite to tame him yeah and uh so I I ended up just giving up because he kept swimming off too too far and I couldn't keep up yeah. And I was almost drowning. And then a shark showed up. So I was like, oh, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know how you tame a shark. I have no idea. I don't even know if they're tameable. I don't know. I never looked it up. You want me to look it up? Look it up. Look it up real quick. Uh, yeah. Uh, the, yeah you, it's, Ark is fun. It's a uh, time killer, though. Um, like, we have sunk a, more than 80 hours in the last couple of weeks into yeah. it. Uh, Let's see. Tameable, rideable, and breedable. Mm. What the... How do you tame it? Probably like you do a lot of animals. You knock them out. <laughs> yeah, because they're aggressive. Yeah. Taming. Uh-huh. There is no data. None? Oh, taming strategy. Here we go. It was like yeah. organized weird. Normally it's at the top of that section, not down in mm-hmm. it. Uh, well, you need meat. Yeah. And uh, tranquilize one. Hmm. That's or, it. Yeah. So you can train them and feed them. Yeah. Okay. I may try that. You Sharks gotta use be... a crossbow because crossbows work underwater. Yeah. Get, yeah. Does, uh, the guns won't. Guns won't. But yeah. So I have to go back a little bit. Uh, Apparently, you can kill small fish and hold it in your hand while on the beach, or setting on the beach, and it'll attract megalodons and stuff. Hmm. Which is interesting. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're trying to get a megalodon? Sometimes they'll beach themselves. Hmm. But they will die. Yes. Yeah, you don't want to do that. Unless you want them to do that. No. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, you, anything else in ARC you want to cover? No, I think that's about it. But I'm thinking about the zoo. Yeah. Thinking about buying a zoo. Thinking about <laughs> building a zoo. Start thinking about building a zoo. You're going to go full uh, ben, uh, no, uh, Matt Damon. He bought a zoo, though. Oh. It's a movie, Daniel. Is it's it? called We Bought a Zoo. I thought Matt Damon himself actually bought a zoo. He might have. The dude's got money. He yeah. could probably afford it. Probably. <laughs> but why? No one's going to the zoo right now. No. Uh, uh, yeah. So I think okay. I think about building the Hall of Monsters. Yeah. Is that what you're going to call it? I don't know. I'm still I, How about... Day. I have a good idea for a title. Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. I'm sure no one's used it. I don't think... 
think so. I think that I don't think that's taken. That's a good name. You should check the copyright yeah, and see I'll, if it's taken. I'll see if it's um, taken. <laughs> um, well, we can put a big gate at the front. You have one. I have. You I have can a build the giga, uh, the uh, uh, behemoth g- gate. Mm-hmm. That's why I, I want to fence off. I've thought about fencing off that island anyway just mm-hmm. for the hell of it because it'd look cool. Mm-hmm. And then uh, put a big reasons. sign. Yeah. It says, welcome, welcome to whatever stupid name you come up with. <laughs> <laughs> um, the park of the Jurassic. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic Ark. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ark Park. Uh-huh. You can make two behemoth gates and it'll have it look like an ark. <laughs> it's like the McDonald's the ark. <laughs> the, the golden arches. <laughs> uh, Welcome yeah. to Golden Ark. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I want to. I think I want to use the big wall and build the big gates, and then p- build a bridge over to it. Well, let's start build, with that. And then I'll I'll build a. I have lots of pillars mm-hmm. that you could use to build the bridge. We we'll have to raise it up because the island's not flat, so we'll need to bring it all out to to so mm-hmm. that it's, we can flatten the whole thing. Okay, well, yeah. To build the facility, you figure out the height, on. and I I'll, I'll go with it. Okay, let us talk about. Something that I'm probably going to deal with in the next couple weeks. Okay. Uh, pre-orders. Oh, I thought you were going to talk about, like, I don't know, a medical something. No. <laughs> no, I don't have any of those. Uh, I'm in dead bod mode. Yeah. I just live and survive yeah. <laughs> until until uh, my child no longer needs me. Then I start to die. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Emotionally oh. and physically. That's terrible. That, that's what happens when you become yeah. a parent. <laughs> Okay. She, one day she will get old okay, enough to not need me anymore. What are you pre-ordering? Uh, in on October fifteenth, uh, not pre-orders. Uh, October it's a uh, uh online purchases and trying to get something that is in high demand. Okay. Um, but uh, but yeah, So, um, I want to get a a an Nvidia uh GTX uh thirty seventy. Yeah. Uh, the new graphics card yeah. for my my new build. Is it GTX or RTX? RTX, RTX. RTX you're right. RTX. Because it's ray tracing. Yeah, it's ray tracing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, well, if the I have an RTX. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, if the indication of the last two models, the 3090 and the uh, 3080, are any any indication indication, <laughs> it uh, I won't be getting one. <laughs> no. Um, because, uh, bots keep buying them. Yeah. And, uh, uh, same thing happened with, uh, the Xbox. Mm-hmm. Well, the Xbox apparently wasn't as bad, but still pretty bad. Yeah. And the same thing, PlayStation was just really bad. Yeah. Um, so, this is what I need to happen in the next two weeks. Yeah. I need to go back to the old way of just going to a store and saying, hey, I'd like to pre-purchase this, mm-hmm. and when it comes out, I can show up to the store and just get, get it. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's an old way. <laughs> um, I'm willing to go back to that. Yeah. <laughs> because that seems to be the only way we're going to stop these things well, from happening. Well, technically, the old day you didn't even pre-order. It just They got <laughs> some in, and you mm-hmm. came in, and you bought one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in old days, you put $5 down. <laughs> and you're like, That's I'm putting five dollars. Yeah, that was games, but still, five dollars down. And uh, when uh, you hold one for me, and I, I'll come and pick it up at midnight, because <laughs> that's how those things roll. Yeah, they don't do that stuff anymore. It's yeah. Not much anymore. No, no, they don't. But I, 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 it, the, the whole situation was bought. Now I did find out something interesting. Um, I was looking into. There's articles talking about the bots and stuff, and there's a weird thing going on with uh, uh, bots competing with each other. Yeah. On eBay and like bots bidding on items and basically jacking up the prices on eBay uh-huh. on uh, uh like the auctioning uh, price. yeah the auction prices so they do you know increase the they create a fake value of these things basically. So not only are they grabbing the supply, they're also uh, driving up, driving up the prices, trying to market. Now, in seeing this, and I was reading an article talking about that, I was looking at listings. There's a lot of fake ones, like yeah. intentionally fake, to throw off the bots. Oh, there's a bunch of people doing uh, listings for like a 
it'll list the the full uh, uh you know Nvidia RTX uh, 3080 yeah da, 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 da. printed picture. Uh-uh. So it's literally you're bidding on a printed picture of that the, the graphic card. And s- and I was like, there's a bunch of them. There's like a whole like three a dozens of them. Yeah. Of people like a rendering of it or a drawing of it <laughs> of you know all these things because they're screwing with the bots. Yeah. And because the bots are just kind of buy it, you know. Yeah. Gra- you know out bi- you know bid these things and make mess it up. So it's literally like someone had a picture and there's one bid. For like thirteen hundred dollars, mm-hmm. and then of course then they they're also like donating to charity. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, this this is a charity thing. So they're they're kind of fighting back on yeah. the bots. Interesting. Um, it is interesting. <laughs> um, of course, my response to all this is to tell people, don't buy them secondhand, <laughs> yeah, yeah. or for above market value. <laughs> yeah. Um, because that's what we said with the switches. Yeah. Like, what you do, how you them. stop this is you if don't you don't them. buy them, they'll go, Oh shit. I have a stockpile of these and they're not selling mm-hmm. for, I'm not making any money off it. Then they'll drop them back to normal price and I'll offload them. Yeah. And all it is is just being patient. <laughs> Cause, uh, it's, it's, it, but the problem is you get, you know, Rich people who don't care what the price is, and they're just like, yeah, just you know, whatever the cost, buy yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so I, I need to, everyone and all the listeners to be strong and spread the word. Don't, no, don't buy, buy it. if oh, you right. buy them secondhand. Don't pay more than market value. Yeah, that way I can get one. Yeah. <laughs> Um, in a reasonable time frame. Now, eventually, they'll catch up and they'll be more available and all that stuff. They'll they'll make more production yeah. and, and they'll be good. But I, I, my plan is to uh, to uh, ho- to to get try to pre- buy it on Best Buy and then maybe on the uh, Nvidia website on the October fifteenth and see if I can grab one. Yeah. If not, most likely I won't be able to, and I'll settle for something else. Yeah. Or and I might just wait. And well, see I was looking. At, I was at Best Buy today, and I was looking in their case of video cards, and they really they didn't have any ten twenty eighties or anything like that. They had some sixteen sixties. Yeah, you but, can get them online. Yeah, so um, they were pretty sold out on it. Yeah, a lot of them are pretty sold out, but you can get them. They're just uh, you can get the twenty eighty super uh, on on Best Buy's website, um, which. Uh, is nice, yeah. but it, it's not. It's the same price as the thirty seventy. Yeah. But I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. It's not or twenty seventy. Twenty seventy. I can't remember. I've looked at a bunch of them. Uh, I think it's yeah. twenty seventy super is the same yeah. price. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Mm-hmm. I'll keep y'all updated how that goes. Yeah. Uh, and I might just wait at wait it out. I mean, yeah. just wait. You know, get one early next year. Uh, try to wait and hold out on my 970 for a while. Um, anyway, let's get to news in our last few minutes. Okay. Okay. Uh, the big news this week is uh, Microsoft bought Zenimax. Yeah. Or are buying Zenimax. Yeah. It's going to be like a year before is, the, the yeah. deal's done. But yeah. Because uh, they also own Bethesda, I mean, Bethesda and uh, id. id, id software and, and a bunch. bunch of, they because Zenimax has, is the the parent company of yeah. a bunch of other companies. Zenimax Media, yeah. uh, the parent company. They bought it for seven point five billion dollars. A bunch of money. A lot of money. Yeah. Uh, so Microsoft is going to own Elder Scrolls and Fallout yeah. and uh, Doom and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Which is interesting. Yeah. And also exciting because if that means if I keep Xbox Game Pass, I can play the new Elder Scrolls when it comes out. If they put it on there, yeah. If they will. Do you think <laughs> They've they? already said they will. Oh, nice. But all Bethesda releases will be on Game Pass. Nice. They already said it's going to so happen. So basically we'll get all these awesome games for... For five... Or for ten ducks a month. <laughs> ten ducks a month. Ten ducks a month. Yeah. All uh, ten ducks... So we'll see. Buy that for ten. I mean, Microsoft has gotten a lot of companies, and they haven't like ruined anything super bad yet. (laughs) They got Mojang, and they didn't screw that up. So not really. They just made made a ton more Minecraft stuff. Yeah, basically. Um, let's see. Uh, also this week, the uh, 
Metal Gear Solid series. So you got Metal Gear, Metal yeah. Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid Two are now available on PC. Yeah. Um, through GOG. 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 Uh, for a pretty reasonable. Well, I think you can get the whole set for like twenty five dollars. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to go back and play, uh, the classic Metal Gear games, you can play them on. Tempted PC Tempted by now. the Metal Gear one. Yeah. Uh. I've never I played I, Metal I, Gear. I don't. I played a little bit once, but I've never played that one. Um, uh, so I'm tempted by it, yeah. just because it's like the old NES one. It's only five bucks. Yeah, so or I six might bucks. grab that. The rest of it, I don't. I don't see myself playing it. Again. I might get it because he's been, been nice. playing it. Yeah, he has. You've been talking. I've been talking it, about it, and he's been playing it again, mm-hmm. having fun trying to deal with the mapping of the controls. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah apparently, it's bad. Um. Anyway, uh. Uh, one of the news that came out of the Bethesda bu- getting bought by Microsoft, they were uh, uh, Todd Howard was talking about working on Morrowind, yeah. the port for Morrowind to the Xbox. Yeah. And uh, apparently, they would have an issue where the uh, Xbox would run out of memory. Yeah. And so what they the trick that Microsoft told them was to restart the Xbox. Yeah. You could throw up a Play load screen. Game. Yeah. And then restart the Xbox in the background, yeah. and the players would have no clue <laughs> that their Xbox is shutting down and going back up. Yeah. Which is kind of ridiculous. Which is ridiculous and funny. Yeah. It's like, also ridiculous is like, you didn't have a way to re- like clear, clear memory yeah. <laughs> without restarting. Yeah. Yeah, so the ridiculous load time, if you were wondering, or if you played Morrowind on Xbox, mm-hmm. it's because they were restarting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, really you, I just imagine like, all right, I'm playing Morrowind. Oh, I gotta go into this room. Oh, it's loading. Okay, and then all of a sudden the startup sound happens. And you're like, <laughs> what was that? Nothing. Nothing. Don't worry Nothing about happened. it. Look at this animal as it floats yeah. on the screen. Yeah, look uh, at the design of this. Here's the load bar. There's no floating animal in Morrowind. I, or, Morrowind was just like the drawings. It was the drawing. Yeah. It's been a while since I've Load screens were just drawings of animals. Yeah. Uh. It might have had like a still of the the actual model, but oh, mo- it had the, the what kind of drawing through design drawings of them. Yeah, uh, the co-founder of Blizzard, uh, who left Blizzard a couple years ago, has now started a new company called, uh, called Dream Winter. Haven. <laughs> called <laughs> called, <laughs> called s- Summer s- Summer's Rain. <laughs> Summer's Rain. <laughs> oh, it's called Dream Haven, uh-huh. um, and it actually has a bunch of people, former Blizzard workers, that really? have come over that worked on StarCraft Two and a bunch of the classic games, and hmm. uh, are going over there. So I'm curious to see what they what end they're up gonna come out with. There's two studios under them, like uh, you can go read it about, but hopefully they start producing something good. Mm-hmm. Uh, since Blizzard doesn't really seem to do much these days, no, yeah. Not much. Um, Baldur's Gate 3 beta got delayed a week, yeah. so it won't be out till October 6th. Hey, it's the day after our birthday. Yeah. That's a good... Which is a Tuesday. Yeah. So we will... It'll be just working. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't mind checking it out, because it's a four-player ex- co-op. Yeah, or, I'm super interested in I that, think actually. it'd be fun with our, our, our immediate mm-hmm. play group. Yeah. Um, Kirby Fighter 2 was announced. Uh, which I didn't even know about the Kerber Fiber 1. Yeah. Uh, apparently it was a, like a part of a trilogy game back on the 3DS or something like that. But uh, it's basically Smash, but everyone plays Kirby. That's the whole game. Really? It's like a whole bunch of... You pick a version of Kirby. There's like 17 different Kirbys you can play, and then a bunch of the Kirby characters, and it's just Smash Brothers, basically. <laughs> I was like, this that kind sounds of... Awful. It sounds like they made Smash for me. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. That's why it <laughs> sounds awful to me. May have to uh, check that out. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, BlizzCon is going online for next year since they canceled it for yeah. this year. Um, they are they're doing an online version of BlizzCon February nineteenth and twentieth in twenty twenty one. Yeah. Um, you can also three D print a flight controls for your uh, that you to play. Flight simulator, you can 3D print a flight control that attaches to an Xbox controller. That sounds really weird. It is, but it works pretty good. Does it? Yeah. Right. So you take an Xbox controller, it has the 3D printed part that cl- clips onto it, and it has a, a joystick that connects to the uh, joystick on the controller. So you get a bigger 
like a flight stick. Uh huh. And then on the other side, you get a another a throttle that will slowly press the uh, trigger, so you can play flight simulator. So you need to see this. It's pretty good. I don't need that. I have like a you have flight. Si- so you spend a lot of money for no reason. You I could spent 3D a lot print of money one day. <laughs> We need to hook that up because Fight Simulator is on Game Pass. I know. I need to check it out. Mm-hmm. Set that uh, up. Uh, I, yeah. I See if there's a VR one. You can do Flight Simulator I can do fight, VR. I can do VR Elite Dangerous. Yeah, but we're we're not, no one cares about that. We're I, talking about Flight Simulator, real planes, real earth flying. Okay. And uh, we'll do it that way. Okay. That sounds good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you know seen, how hard it is to run a flight stick with when you can't see your hands. It'll be fine. It can't be that bad. It, it's not. It's not. I did Elite Dangerous okay, mostly because I had done it enough to know where the buttons were. Well, now you and have you have the the uh, index controller, so you can see your hands. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you just you being, set it up right, I and think then you use those to track being, your hand. I think you're purposely and, being obtuse. And and then you can you can see you you those are just basically just be tracked your position, and then you just use you actually just grab the flight controls. But you can't see the flight controls in the game. Does well, it? you 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 map it I right mean, you can, in the but game. You can't see the buttons. You map it properly. You it'll all be in the right spot. I'm not talking to you. I don't know why this is complicated. It, it seems it, pretty straightforward not, to me. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you, well, you get right on that. You no, you up. own the controller. I'll let you You have it. the vibe. I'll let you figure it out. And the index. You got all the stuff. Uh-huh. You're, you're prime for it. So, as soon as it's ready, let me know. I want to play. You're never going to hear back from me about this. <laughs> well, you, well, you take your time. Uh-huh. Anything yeah. else you want to talk about? No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hello, listeners. Go to our website. <laughs> At uh, duddan.com. That's mm-hmm. D-U-D-N-D-A-N.com. Mm-hmm. You can go to duddan.com mm-hmm. because I'm an idiot. Yes. Uh, and, <laughs> and pay for two years yeah. on that. You know, for the next two years, you can go to duddan.com and uh, get to our... Unless our, you're listening to this two years in the future, it may not work. It may not work anymore. It depends on if I pay. Also, why are you listening to this two years in the future? Get, you get to the new episodes. Are we dead? <laughs> We might have died. Well, have we stopped doing the episode? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> uh, <laughs> please like, comment, subscribe, whatever time frame you live in. Mm-hmm. And uh, thank you very much. If for we're listening. still living. If we're still living. If we're thank not, you. I don't care anymore. <laughs> thank you very much for listening. I'm Dan May. And I am Dudley May. And this has been, or has been, Dud and Dan. <laughs>